In prior videos, we've shown you the best free programs that make working on your computer more effective. In fairness, there's also software that you should avoid because it could end up causing more harm than good. So coming up, we'll show you 10 free programs and apps we think should be removed or never installed on any computer. For each program, I'll explain why they should not be installed and give you better alternatives if available. Let's get to it. First up is the video sharing social network, TikTok. Owned by the Beijing-based ByteDance, they've quickly gained popularity over the last couple of years. In addition to apps for Android and iOS, it's also available for Windows from the Microsoft Store. At this time, it's not available for Mac OS. There are real privacy concerns that could put its users at risk. It's so bad that it makes the privacy policies of Facebook, Google, Amazon, and other tech companies look good in comparison. It's so intrusive that recently FCC Commissioner Brendan Carr had asked the CEOs of both Apple and Google to have TikTok removed from their app stores. As yet, neither CEO has responded or taken action. As pointed out by the popular podcaster Joe Rogan when he read TikTok's Terms of Service, it monitors keystroke patterns so it records what you type and listens to you through your device's microphone without your permission. Those are just a few of the reasons to not use TikTok on any device including Windows. Considering the lack of trust with this company, it's probably best to avoid them completely, including accessing their website in your web browser. No alternative is perfect, but many of the popular videos from TikTok are now available on YouTube, known as Shorts. And to the dismay of longtime users, Instagram is now heavily promoting short-form videos like TikTok. As many of you know, we don't recommend using cleaning utilities anymore. Quite frankly, most available just don't work as advertised, and there's always the risk of doing harm. Whether you're on Mac OS or Windows, they now actually do a pretty good job with built-in tools without having to install third-party software. One such cleaning utility we don't recommend using anymore is CCleaner. At one time, it was a trusted utility to clear out unwanted files and invalid registry items. I've pointed out many of their issues over the years, including installing programs without the user's permission and incorporating a data collection module that could not be disabled by the user. While these and other issues have been rectified, it can no longer be trusted. A more recent issue that could cause more harm than good is that in certain circumstances, when uninstalling CCleaner, users are reporting other programs on their computer are being removed as well. Avast the current owners of CCleaner claim that they are working on a fix. If you're an Apple user with an iPhone or an iPad that happens to have a Windows PC, we don't recommend using iTunes on Windows to sync your media collection. Available from the Microsoft Store, it's full of bugs, with users reporting numerous issues when syncing their files. The fact that it has more one-star reviews than five-star reviews should be a sign that it's not good at all. You're actually better off using iCloud for Windows or some other third-party tool. Up next is the Opera browser. At one time, it was one of our favorite browsers. With neither of the founders no longer with the company, it has lost its way. In what appears to be desperation to become relevant again, their marketing is somewhat misleading. For example, they claim to offer a free VPN, which is not accurate. What they claim as a VPN is actually a proxy. While a VPN encrypts your data using the best encryption available with strict protocols, Opera's proxy only uses HTTPS SSL encryption, which is the same basic level as most major websites. If your goal is to be truly anonymous, you're better off using a real VPN. As an alternative, the true spiritual successor to the innovative good old days of Opera is Vivaldi. In fact, one of the co-founders of Opera is a co-founder of Vivaldi as well. Lightshot for Windows and Mac is a safe screenshot tool on its own, but does pose a security risk, especially when capturing personal data. When taking a screenshot, your capture automatically gets sent to their cloud storage where you have no control of your data. On Mac OS, you're better off using the screenshot tool that's already built in. On Windows, the built-in snipping tool is pretty good, or you could use our favorite third-party program, ShareX, only storing your screenshots locally on your drive, not in the cloud. uTorrent is a BitTorrent client that lets users download and share files. We've mentioned them in the past and deserves mention again because misinformed people still think it's a trustworthy program. There's actually debate on the correct pronunciation of this program. If you care about these things, we recommend you pause the video and read this over. No matter how you pronunciate it, in addition to the annoying adware, in 2015 they got busted for installing a cryptocurrency miner called Epic Scale. With most users not being aware, this program would run in the background, using up system resources to help make the company money. 
Do you need a torrent client without the unsavory business practices or ads? Qubit Torrent is one we recommend. It's free and open source with no extra garbage included. Whenever you buy a new Windows PC, there's often unwanted programs added by Microsoft itself or included by the manufacturer. It's always best practice to uninstall this bloatware that you don't need using up your storage and other resources. A cool resource to check out is Should I Remove It? I'll put a link in the description. Doing a search on this site will give you additional details about that program and whether you should keep it or not. Zoom, the video communication service, was all the rage when people were forced to work from home. Lately, their numbers have been dwindling as users go back to the office. We've already noted their privacy and security concerns in the past and still don't recommend using it. While some issues have been fixed, other massive problems keep popping up, keeping it from being a trustworthy and reliable service, especially for business use, including a recent vulnerability for Macs that allows key root access to a user's computer. While vulnerabilities are not uncommon with most software, Zoom's terrible record with security, when compared to its competitors, is absolutely horrifying. Others to consider with much better track records than Zoom include Google Meet, WebEx by Cisco is one that's highly underrated, and there is Microsoft Teams. All feature free plans, usually with up to 100 participants per meeting, and offer comparable plans to Zoom with competitive pricing. WinRAR is a file extraction and compression tool for Windows that's been around since 1995. They give you a 40-day free trial, after which you can still use it for free for life, but you have to deal with the constant nagging to upgrade, which is why we don't recommend installing. A lot of great memes have been created over the years regarding their trialware. In all seriousness, it's a good program. There's just better options available for free without the pop-up nag screens. The file archiver we've been using for years is 7-Zip. It's free and open source and gets the job done with ease. While extensions can be useful in expanding the capabilities and features of your browser, these small software application add-ons could also be hiding a dirty little secret, leaving yourself and your system compromised. Be careful when looking for a specific add-on or particular category of extensions. You'll often find copycats of popular add-ons that will try to trick you into installing their extension. Sometimes these can be malicious. Oftentimes, looking at the reviews and number of users can give you a good indication whether an extension is legitimate or not. So prior to installing any extensions, do your research and use common sense. If it looks too good to be true, it's probably an extension you should avoid installing. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up. What free programs would you suggest people don't use and what alternatives would you recommend instead? Let us know about them in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the bell to not miss out on our latest software videos and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.